Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Standard and I'm a software developer at my own startup. Uh, Marked Up Analytics is the name of our company and we provide analytics as a service to uh, native software developers. And so I wanted to show you a small open source project that I created in order to make the lives uh, of well, my own life and our, our development team's life a little bit easier. So this is a, an open source project called Instant File Server. So Instant File Server. It's a Node.js application that allows you to create a file server on top of any directory on any type of machine, whether it's running Windows, OS X, or Linux. And it's really easy to install and get set up. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so the only prerequisite to uh, using Instant File Server is to have Node.js and NPM installed. NPM is uh, the official package manager that comes with Node. So you just go to Node.js.org and download the binaries from there. Uh, it works on any platform. And I already have it on the system, so we'll go ahead and skip this part. So in order to install Instant File Server, you want to use NPM, and you're going to do a global install. So the name of the package is IFS, and you just uh, go ahead and run this command. The dash G signifies that this is a global package, which means it'll be available anywhere in your system path. So we'll go ahead and kick the uh, download and build off here. All right, so it's off and running. Okay, and so through the magic of editing, it, IFS is now installed on this system. Yay! And as promised, we can go ahead and uh, just create a file server anywhere we want. So I'm on top of my pictures directory here, and I want to go ahead and view what's inside of it. So I'm going to just type in IFS. And you'll see here that it says it started on port 1337. So I'm just going to go to localhost. Here you go. You can see a list of available images and photos and content. So let's see, I'll go ahead and take a look at, oh gosh, we'll look at this one. Up, oh, so a little puppy image. Even works on folders too, so if I want to go and drill into this folder here or move back up, IFS will take care of all that for me. And if I go back down to the command line here, you'll see that uh, logs have been generated for all of the activity that came in. So if you want to shut the server off, just do control C, kill it like any normal process, and there it goes, it's turned off. Now, I want to, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do some more advanced stuff, like how to upload a file and, and create, uh, create new content via IFS. But first, let me go ahead and start up with some new options. I'm gonna go ahead and pass in a custom port. Uh, we'll go ahead and do port uh, 9000. Okay, so if I go and reload this, it won't work. Nope, but if I go to 9000, it will. All right, so there we go. All right, so let me show you a little demo that I created. So we have a little shell script here, and this is included in the examples directory of IFS. And this will go and upload the following image, go to examples, It'll upload this little guy into uh, whatever the root directory is being served up. So I'm gonna go and modify this real quick. I'm gonna change that to port 9000. This will go into a folder called demo. This folder already exists. Just going to point that out. Going to save it. So what this is going to do is a multi-part form post uh, to IFS. And this will go and create a file uh, in this subdirectory with this name. So let's do it. So we go ahead and run upload image to SH. Boom, it says it created it. Let's go and take a look at our browser. And sure enough, there it is. Boom. And that's how you do a file upload. Now just to show you how cross-platform and super awesome IFS is, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my little Ubuntu VM that's running right here. And we're going to install IFS on this. Now I already have Node.js and NPM installed. It's the same syntax as before. You just have to remember to throw a little sudo in front of the command. All right. So it's off to the races. And once more, through the glorious power of editing, we have a complete IFS install on this Ubuntu machine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clear the screen here. And we'll go ahead and start IFS in the root directory. So I'll go ahead and pull up a little local host window. And we can see once again, another uh, set of contents belonging to this, this folder here. Well, look, I can even access it from a remote machine. So I'll go ahead and paste in the, uh, I went ahead and grabbed the Ubuntu server's IP address while I was paused. And I can see the exact same content. 
if I take a look at the command line, it'll go and show the IP address these requests are coming from. And that's it. That's uh, IFS in a nutshell. So thanks for watching. If you'd like to use IFS, you can just install it via NPM like I showed you. Or if you want to contribute and add your own functionality, please go to github.com slash Aaron on the web instant file server. And uh, basically it's, everything's licensed under MIT. Uh, you can go ahead and do whatever you want with it. And we accept pull requests. Thank you very much.